Okay, okay, dude. Yo, man, we live, man. You look like Dwight just now. Dwight? Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dwight. When Dwight was just like homie. Jim. And he was doing the oh, yeah. stuff with his head. Yeah. Oh, I'm Jim. I'm so cool. Yeah. Yeah. What's good, though? I'm chilling, man. How you feeling? Feeling all right. Feeling good. <laughs> Weather is nice outside. It is. Sundresses is out. It is it? Are they? Nah. Don't tell me that. Nah. Nah. I'm lying. <laughs> I've been having the urge to go out though. Honestly, I've been having the urge to go out. I'm buy- I need to buy that bike. I'm buying a bike today. I'm buying it today. You're buying it today. I'm buying it today. For Remember, sure. I told you they got the photo ones on uh, on, on Amazon for like a hundred and something. Yeah. Less than two hundred. So know. I'm thinking about just doing it. The one we saw was like two something, right? Yeah, but they sent it out like in July though. I'm like, the ones on Amazon. Niggas ain't trying to wait two months, bro. On I Amazon? think so. I'm gonna have to find a site that. You know, it's trying to ship them sooner than that. Cause I'm trying to bike right now. Like yeah. my nigga Alito, shout out Alito. He said he did like 30 miles. He rode 30 miles the other day from like I think Queens to the city and back type shit. Mm. So that's fun. I know a couple friends doing that. Yeah, my Can't boy Chad. Bike riding all that. He did this whole link up thing. They all met at Brooklyn Bridge. Then they rode to Soho. Then they rode to this place. Then they rode to 32nd, 42nd, wow. two bros. There's just meeting up, like, different meet-up meet points around the city. Mm. It'd be dope. I just thought of something. I'm going to hit my boy, Chad. Chad? It'd be dope to uh, do, like, a five-borough. Like, you see how they have, like, the triathlon, mm-hmm. the tri-city marathons and all of that? Like, just, like, a, and just build that brand up. Oh, there's people Basically, from all people, the boroughs. Like you can oh, just well, you mean up. riding from each borough? Riding, yeah. Or oh, people from the boroughs? Coming. No, riding, riding. Oh, so at wow. one o'clock we gonna meet up here. So Brooklyn, Two Queens, we Bronx, up here. Manhattan, Staten Island, then yeah. back to Brooklyn. Yeah, Staten Island niggas ain't trying to Jeez. pay that toll though. Do you pay a toll with a bike? No, nah, I'm joking. Yeah, with I'm about a bike, to say. I don't even know how you could ride to Staten Island with the bicycle. Go through the tunnel. I don't. It's gonna be risky. What tunnel? Isn't there like a tunnel? From Brooklyn uh, oh, to Staten Island? Nah. A bridge. It's, it's a bridge. Only bridge, yeah. Fuck Staten it. Island is only If a, it's a bridge, you could definitely ride a bike. They got the shit on the side. Yeah, there's no tunnels from Staten Island. The bridge, Verrazano Bridge. But then again, Verrazano Bridge is set up weird. I never saw nobody walking or jogging or riding Verrazano. Mm. You gotta be the first. If it's possible. Yeah, we we'll look it up. But that's what's up though. Yeah. Um besides that, man, it's chilling. Mm. Chilling, man. I just been taking it a day at a time. That's a fact. You know, doing things around the house still. Yeah, what you been doing? You got when you come, you gonna see. Wait, what y'all building stuff? When you come, you gonna see. You remember how the small bathroom looked? You remember how? Oh, you mean the one close to the living room? Yeah. You remember, sure. You remember how all the light switches looked and stuff? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. Oh, okay. But what you what y'all? You gonna you gonna see. All just right. leave it at that. All right. If I'm not impressed, it's, if I, if you hype me up and I'm not impressed, like. I'm Bob the Builder out here. All right. <laughs> we go. <laughs> all right. But, yo. Ready? Uh, yeah. Yo. First, we got to give our shout outs and our, and, our, and, um, and our fucking congrats to uh, Joe the Rogan, God. man. The podcast the pod God. God. Like, the pod God, for real. Like. That nigga just closed a big deal with Spotify, man. Yo, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I don't applause for Joe Rogan because clap it up. Like, you know, being so a, you see, content does matter. You could have a yeah. successful podcast with two hour episodes every yeah. fucking episode. Yeah, literally, it should be <laughs> some long. Should, some be three hours. Yeah, but yeah, keep going. Yeah, nah, shout out to him, man. So, um, a little bit of the details. On a deal, it is a three-year licensing deal, which is good. I was hearing Charlemagne talk about it. No, no, no. Was it Charlemagne? No, no. It was either Charlemagne and Andrew Schultz, I think it was, or it was either uh, Joe Budden, Mal, um, Maul, and uh, Roy. And it's basically like usually when these acquisitions happen, the bigger company like they'll buy like the whole brand. They like they'll buy like the company of like. Let's say Joe Rogan podcast, but Joe Rogan is Joe Rogan, so he leveraged just a three year licensing deal. Like that's it. Mm-hmm. You don't get like my whole everything Archives, that yeah. you don't get everything. No, no, like 
No, no. It's going to be exclusively. So how it's going to be. I think the they episodes said, you record with from now on will be strictly Spotify. No, not yet. Right? Not yet. Not yet. So on September, they're going to bring... They're gonna do like a carbon copy of like his content on YouTube and on and, and, um on Apple. It's gonna be on Spotify, and then starting in the new year, then the first January, they're gonna exclusively be only on Spotify. It's, it's like gonna be deleted. Like button. Yeah, it's gonna be deleted yeah. from. But I think I'm not sure if it's deleting from. I looked it up. iTunes. From nah, from nah, from iTunes for sure. It's, it's going off that, but I'm not sure about YouTube. Cause I don't think Spotify mm. has video, so it may just be. YouTube and but I, I could have swore I heard one of them say streaming. it's not gonna be on YouTube no more. He gonna bring it all to Spotify, mm. and um, Invest. it's a hundred plus million dollar deal, mm -hmm. and I know it ain't a hundred mil. It's it's at, it's gonna be at least some some on that some maybe one twenty maybe one forty. Who knows? Mm. Like it's a big fucking but, deal. Um, yeah, shout out to Joe Rogan. Facts, hard work, great content. Yeah, persistence. He drops like every fucking two days. It seemed that way because of the clips, right? No, on I'm YouTube? talking from episodes. He dropped. The dropped, episodes yeah. say dropped yesterday. Yeah, and then another episode before that dropped two day, three yeah, days. Yeah, he ago. he drops a lot. Yeah, because that's like his full blown thing. Like yeah, he in he addition does to that, stand up, of course, in stand up, and he, he does, does the MMA. He does yeah, he does it, hunting. He does mash it. Yeah, he does, he does the um. He's like a commentator for the UFC, and when they win the fight, he he interviews the fight. He's been doing that shit for years now, mm -hmm. and he's do uh what, Fear Factor back Fear in the day. Factor, yeah, before yeah. that in the nineties, he did uh actual MMA. He did jujitsu and all of that. Yeah, that nigga, yo, I fuck with Joe Rogan. I don't agree with everything he says, but he gives a um yeah. he gives a unbiased opinion, and he has a lot of experts. You always gonna learn some shit. Like besides our podcast, he's my favorite podcast, honestly. Well, I can't say if you give him by his opinion because you don't really know what's in somebody's mind. But I appreciate sure. his opinion. Sure, I it's mean, very yeah. Into, it's it's from a intelligent place, I would say. Even though I may not agree with it, it's yeah. still from an intelligent. Place. Yeah, I say I'm biased because I haven't really seen him just out the gate just agree with a point just because it's on like a particular side. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying like. Mm. I've seen him, you know, like he's he agnostic, but then there's certain things that I've heard him that he'll be like, oh, that makes sense that, you know, that could be, you know, yeah. Um, he brings a wide perspective and I, I really like that. Appreciative. You learn so much shit about that, about just the work. He be having niggas from NASA on there. Yeah. yeah. Like ecologists about the economy. He be having like, um, he be having like, like people that just no shit about animals and I'm just like damn bro. I think somebody he has like somebody lions do that that's crazy soil yeah like all the everything organisms in the soil yeah then he had porn stars on there he had Dan Brazilian on there he's had Elon Musk twice who's Dan Brazilian you never heard about Dan Brazilian he's like some white guy with a big beard always with a bunch of girls porn on star? yachts nah I think I think he like he wear the shipper's hat or the sailor's hat I don't think so. Oh, okay. You probably seen. I probably. I don't know. Yeah, because I was. But he's always with like, his Instagram is like insane. He's always on a yacht with a bunch of girls. He's super rich. Uh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's had him on. He's like a big mystery because nobody really knows what he do. Um, but yeah, shout out to Joe Rogan, man. That's very, you know, being a podcaster like that's, like that's big shit. People are really starting to realize that your yeah, podcasting ain't just some little. Just some like, oh yeah, Bullshit. oh yeah, he got his little podcast. Like, kid. nah, niggas is yeah. getting bags. Yeah. And that's like, what differentiates podcasts. Like, for example, people would think that because they probably heard like a podcast. And this is no disrespect to no podcast, but people form, people create podcasts because it's based on what they want to do, what they want to talk about. So mm -hmm. you can't off rip, they're doing what they love. So you got to respect right. that. So you can't now set up like a, social or a cast system of podcasts which one is important which one is not right it depends on what you which will resonate with the listener yeah but what differentiates podcasts would be the content like like you said mm -hmm. you're hearing expertise and knowledge yeah and a lot of things. experience yeah from people who's been doing these things for 20 plus years facts so we know 
just learning theory is not actually teaching you shit. Yeah. But these people been doing it. They've been in the field for decades. I would trust the expertise. Yeah. To a certain they definitely extent. got some validity in there. Even though we're people and we can be, you know, bribed or whatever. Yeah. The the knowledge, the the intelligence, the conversation is still worthy of you yeah. know, listening to. And you and just draw your own opinions from it. Yeah. Based on what you And you learn. know what's dope about his podcast too is like he'll like Joe Rogan's he's pretty knowledgeable, but he He'll even say that he's not the smartest tool in the toolbox. In the shed, yeah. Yeah. So, That's but, but he'll, I mean, some, nah, I don't lie. Some people that I know, they just, Dumb. nah, they just seem, they just knowledgeable. Like, oh. they just know a lot of shit. Um, I say the more he'll, you know, the more you don't know. Well, the more you find out, the more you don't know. Yeah. Um, but, like, he'll have an expert on the show about NASA. But the conversation would flow like it's just like your homeboy. Mm-hmm. Like when you bump his his content, it doesn't seem like he's just like some idiot in a room with an expert. Because what he like, do is he does his homework on these things. Yeah, for the most part, he does his homework, yeah. and plus he was acquainted he with a lot the of shit. field before. Because when he speak, I've never seen him. He, if he doesn't know, and this is what I respect about people like this mm-hmm. and him in particular. Is he'll be like he'll say hmm. I don't really know. He's like, hmm, I gotta look into that. That's interesting. Yeah, like he and he would probably look into it mm-hmm. because it's multiple guests that he's been he's had on his platform like two, three, five times. Mm-hmm. So you know people are coming back and he would you know touch back ba- touch base on you know what was discussed prior. Right. But yeah, it's cool to say you don't know and that like you yeah, look I'm into not, it. Or, I'm not shy of saying that. But um. Cause niggas will put your card. Yeah. You act like you know some shit, yeah. and then they really know you some shit. Spitting some shit, and then you'll be like, "Uh, so nah, yeah. I don't know that, bro. Yeah. You, you could tell me if you want." <laughs> but yeah, man, that this shit, that's a big deal, man. And it's over three years, so I know is he's gonna have you know bonuses. They was speaking about. It. I don't know too much about it, but I'm just going off what you know. Joe Budden, he's with Spotify, yeah, and he signed a deal, so he not not as big as deal as All them, the but. He um let's change our name to Joe and get signed by Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> um so he would know, you know, some information on how the deal works and it's gonna be bonuses and that more money involved. So to even think like two hundred plus mil over a three year span for a podcast, like it's bigger than what niggas think, man. Listen, people like people don't think even now, people don't think that podcasts make money. And I had to tell him like, yeah, this nigga's making bread, bro. You just need a you just need a certain amount of you know what I'm saying? The way you're speaking is the way the first, like well, not the first, but let's say like Wu Tang spoke. About like, rap. Niggas is actually getting paid oh, for rap. Fifty million fifty five million dollar checks because of a song, bro. Yeah. Like it's just you see what I'm saying? People going to downplay it. People going to downlook it. It's because at the end of the day, it's content. Yeah. And con- you know, content is king. Content is king. And another thing that the Charlemagne mentioned that that was also a good point. He was, you know, he's in radio, but he always says like, yo, like the radio world, like the like the on-air radio world, they're dying because they're not, they're not really investing in what they need to invest in. He was like, you know, entities like Spotify, they're investing in talent. They understand that, yeah. Uh, like these podcasters, these are these like big players. Like you know, like NFL teams, NBA teams. They they pay big money to get these players on their team because they know they bring a certain level of skill and talent to their yeah. team. Same thing with content. Like not everybody has the the skill and the capabilities to interview people in his form and make it seem like it's you know. A easy flowing, high mm-hmm. chemistry uh, conversation. Conversation. That's a skill. He's a big talent. He's the biggest podcaster in the world. Mm-hmm. So, and they dropped that bag. A lot of he was saying that you know radio, they're not really doing it. They just focusing all on the music. You know, what I'm saying they're not really hiring they're the people. They're doing like a lot of like a lot of like you know, a lot of automated playlists. Almost they're not really hiring you yeah. know talent and shit. And, and the automated playlists are trash. I hate it. Yeah, cause you guys, cause like nobody Every like. Fucking day is the same shit. Yeah, yeah, real talk. The same 
lineup, yeah. the same mix. The yeah. S- I used to go on hot97.com to look for new songs and shit that I would add to my playlist. And I realized like it shows like even what times they play it. Mm-hmm. It's the same song. It's like the same 10 songs yeah. all day. All fucking day. All day. They may throw in like an old school Jay-Z they song, yeah, exactly. an old B.I.G. song, but it's the same songs, bro. Yeah. That's why niggas don't really fuck. I don't, I don't listen to radio at all. Radio is trash. I When I used to do Uber, and I, you know, I usually I actually yeah. pull, Everybody that used to be like, oh, you can put on radio, I would roll my eyes. I'd be like, this fucking idiot. Yeah. The radio, bro. Yeah. You had Spotify in your car for, for customers? Just... Or Pandora? No, I have Spotify. I have Spotify. I have Pandora. No, I'm saying I you would Apple be like, yo, Music. you could pick a, a, a playlist. I would tell you them. Pick a... But they'd be like, no, it's cool. Sometimes they'd be like. Yeah. Because what I notice with people, like, they're very, like, sporadic. It's like they would play this from this album, but then that from that album. So I guess they didn't want to, like, keep my phone. So they would yeah, just be like, they didn't want to impose because cool. that's me. Yeah, I'd be like, nah, I'm good because I'm gonna have my AirPods in anyway. Mm. Yeah. That, that, they'd just be like, nice, cool. Yeah, but yeah, that's me. But yo, man, big fucking shout out to Joe Rogan, nigga. That shit dope, man. Even though I don't really use Spotify, but I use it for Joe Budden, so I guess it would be the same thing. Yeah, I still don't use Spotify. It's yeah, like it's... I'm so accustomed to Apple Podcasts and um, yeah, iTunes. Well, not iTunes, but Apple Music. Apple Music. That yeah, I have Spotify, but it's like I I would go on to check certain episodes or whatever. Yeah, I'm not really Even a big regular like music. I don't listen. Yeah, no, nah, I, I only listen to music really when I'm like out and about. When I'm in a house, I don't listen to music like that. Really? Nah, I don't. I listen to like content. Oh, okay. Yeah, I listen to content more because I don't know you. On a good day, yeah, I'm a vibe out. Maybe playing 2K, vibe out. Yeah. But on the once I once I leave my crib, I'm turning the world off and I'm turning the music on. That yeah. that's me. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. But since we're talking about Joe Rogan and shit, I want to hop into this NASA shit. I was just about to say. Yeah. <laughs> Being that you mentioned NASA. Yo, so I mean, I'm gonna try to run down this as you know, as we could just even vibe simpler. on it, vibe out about it. On on a what if? Yeah, I know. Nah, nah. Of course, because because I don't even know if this is true or not. But <laughs> anything is possible. Yeah, that's a Everything fact. Everything they show us. NASA sign. Yo, get this, guys. This shit is crazy. Like this, some real what if shit. NASA scientist. This is from New York Post. I don't even know, but this is. This, let's go with it. I seen it on Twitter, and it was the first thing I clicked on. NASA scientists detect evidence of parallel universe. Where time runs backwards. Right? First of all, that's fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would like to know what the evidence is and how they detected it. So check it out. They said the experts used a giant balloon to carry NASA's Antarctic impulsive uh, transient antenna or ANI, ANITA. High above Antarctica, where the frigid, dry air provided a perfect environment with little to no radio noise to distort its findings. A constant wind of high energy particles constantly arrived on Earth from out of space. This is a lot of big words, guys. <laughs> Low energy subatomic neutrinos with a mass close to zero can pass completely through Earth, but higher energy objects are stopped by the solid matter of our planet. I don't know what the fuck this means, bro. Yeah, I don't bro. know what the hell you're talking about. I don't, I don't know what this means. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is some NASA shit. Shit sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. But they said, okay, I'm going to skim a little bit. The findings imply that these particles are actually traveling backwards in time, suggesting evidence of a parallel universe. It just means that uh, it, it could be a, uh, a universe... With reverse time, it doesn't mean necessarily parallel to us, though. Who knows? But you, you, who knows? Yeah. That's that's interesting, though. It is interesting. This type of shit that I I know Joe Rogan's gonna speak about this shit. This type of shit I like to hear about, like yeah. what parallel? Because yeah. I always think about Let's like, yo, what if there's another me out there? See if you want to join. Facts, us. facts. Join it, yo, Neil. Facts. What you doing? He's bro? another one. He had him on there. He's another one. I just like listen. He had to him like, on multiple times. Yeah, yeah. 
What your thoughts on that, man? Like parallel universes. Okay, now cra- like, let's what go if? with the parallel universe. Mm-hmm. Like, like if it is. Yeah. I am more. I am above fifty percent in agreement with that being likely. A parallel universe that runs backwards. Yeah, it's prob- no, no, no. Just a pro- parallel universe to mm. us, period. Like just like another version or like just the same? Period. But the running backwards, that would make more sense because it would have to be some type of inverse. And that's what I was trying to tell you last time when we were talking about it. It would have to be some type of inverse of the parallel in the parallel universe. Sure. Even though it's parallel. I mean, parallel just really means side by side. It means damn near like... The same. The congruent. same. Yeah. But... The reverse part would make more sense because why would the Abdallah and that universe doing the same shit? Yeah. Same now, thing? what does reverse mean though? Because you mentioned something before we started recording about like I'm getting older while they're getting younger, which I think even if well, that's what it mentioned, right? No, it never mentioned that. Never. It never mentioned that. You came up with that. I you, thought I could have nah. swore you said nah. It they age backwards. No, never said that. Never said that's why I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I was like, that reminds me of Benjamin Button. Nah, I never said that. You You never said that. I never said that. You hopped out the window with that. I was like, that. I was like, okay, that's a cool theory. I never said that. Yo. Real talk. On God, I heard your voice say, and they age backwards. And that's why while you were reading, I giggled to myself and I was like, that reminds me of Benjamin Button. And that's what mm. prompted me to think about that. I was like, it'd be crazy to meet the Abdallah from that universe who's aging backwards. And we meet at like, like, let's say I die at 50, let's say I die at 60 years old. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. That means that Abdallah was born at 60 years old. But see, and I, he look, start aging backwards. That's what I was going to say. I mean, I yeah. Like, that would be interesting to, for, for both of us to meet at 30. Right. I didn't say that though. I promise I didn't say that. But then I would, I would be like, I yeah, fight you because I think that like strong. even in the universe like that, it still I'm needs some type of logic. <laughs> no, trying to say some shit I would do. What like fight yourself mm-hmm. for what? See which one is stronger. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. For what? That would be like the first two minutes of Itachi and Sasuke fight. It'd be mad genjutsu is <laughs> going on because we think the same. <laughs> Facts, <laughs> but he's wiser though. Hmm? He's wiser though. How? Well, not nah, because he's We're see, at look, the same age. See, I was gonna say that even though it's a parallel universe, mm-hmm. it still needs and it still needs some type of logic. Like you can't be born at fifty. You know I'm saying exactly that would. Be I think their inverse logic, would be though. like me, like being white and tall or some shit, or like me being Indian and tall, like the opposite of me. But you're perceiving that with our mentality here. Their logic but how is it possible to be born there. 50 years old? You're 50 when you're on the earth for 50 years. Bro, I don't know. They could be in a pod or something, <laughs> and the pods hatch, and then they start aging backwards. I don't know, but I'm just That's saying insane. The, the, the logic there would have to make sense for them. Certain things we do here, they're probably like, why are they yawning? Why are they blinking? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That, I'm just saying. That's why I asked, like, what does backwards mean? <clears throat> Like, is it literally mean Yo, like, cause, I mean, because backwards literally would mean like they walk backwards. They drive backwards. Like, shit like that. Like, the wind that would go forward is going not. Wait, did it example. mention backwards? Yeah. That's why I thought that. Yeah, but it didn't add no context, though. Oh. It, 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 yeah, it didn't add no context. Yeah, that's why, that's why I thought the way I thought. Okay, check it out. It says, the simplest explanation for the phenomenon is that at the moment of the... Bi- Moment of the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago, two universes were formed. Ours and one from our uh, our perspective is running in reverse with time going backwards. Of course, if there are any inhabitants of a possible parallel universe, they're, they'd, uh, they'd consider us the backward ones, obviously. We're left with the most exciting or most boring possibility. All right, see so you. That's this interesting. This is how that does the that doesn't make sense. This is how I know that doesn't make. This sense. This could all be bullshit, by yeah, the way. I think they most just, likely it is, but they're just it's trying interesting. To our, uh, curiosity and shit. This is how this doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Time cannot be measured. So, how, if that one is in existence going backwards, like you said, there's content, but they didn't specify. Mm-hmm. 
I guess because if they specified, then people were cornered on with certain questions right. to answer to make sense of this. But like I said from initially, just because you found nucleides or nucleotides or whatever that may be in reverse, that does not mean that the plane of life that it's from or whatever mm-hmm. is necessarily parallel to us. Right. But um, where I was getting at was, uh, damn. You lost your point? Yeah. Cause That's I went crazy. back, I went back and I was doing yeah. the whole thing. With it's the- a fun idea though. Like I love when I see like, yeah. when I watch cartoons or animes or even TV shows and they do like a parallel universe. That's why the Trunks, that's why Trunks storyline is, is always like my favorite. Whenever I get to a video game where like, you know, Dragon Ball Z, for those yeah. who are in live on the fucking Future rock. Trunks is um, my guy. His storyline is always so dope to me because you get to see the different dynamics mm-hmm. of like, of like it's it's they never quite explained it, but like why it took him so long to turn Super Saiyan when in the normal universe the nigga turned Super Saiyan at seven. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying seven or eight. He was twelve. No, Go Time was eight or ten. No, they only a year apart, bro. No, they were a year apart. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling you. All right. How much you want to bet? Trunks, Trunks Five dollars. years on him. Five dollars. If they were a year apart, why didn't Goten born in... No, no, that's... No, can't say that because Goku had died already. How old was Trunks when... Trunks got, Trunks got Goten by like he, five, four years. No, he does not, bro. All right, look it up. How I much you want to bet? Up. Five dollars? I'm Five not dollars. betting you money. Five dollars right look now. Look it up. All right. I'm going to look up how old was he when he turned Super Saiyan first. First do is- turn... Super Saiyan. I'm telling you, he was not that that <clears throat> eight years old. Trunks is eight years old when he trained Vegeta. So I was right about that. When he was training what, with Vegeta, when he first turned Super Saiyan with Vegeta. And you telling Damn, me that at that time, old. Goten was four years swore. old, three no, years no, old? No, 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 no. I could have swore I saw that the nigga was like twelve. I nah. thought he had eight years on him. Nah, and, and Goten was seven at the time. So he was born a year. Like right, like he got he but got Chi Chi pregnant right before he got killed by Cell, basically. But see, that still don't make sense. How? How? Yeah, Chi yeah. Chi was low key yeah. pregnant during the yeah. Cell games. I was just about to say because yeah. Trunks was a baby then. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yeah, yeah. So it's just interesting. Then it's like, well, you know, Gohan didn't. Like the future Gohan, mm-hmm. and then the Gohan that went against Cell, they just got totally different like looks. To- it's just so the parallel universe thing always been interesting to me, always. Even in my life, I be thinking like, hmm, what if you know what I'm saying? What if one day they figure out like think about like a universe, like a, like a alternative, an alternative universe, like traveler to them, and they able to come in our universe and and mm-hmm. like. You know what I'm saying, imagine walking down the street and just seeing the nigga look just like you, but you don't have no twin. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine that? But he's like the evil version of you. Makes sense. Or some the, black Goku shit. Makes sense with the whole um, why they're trying to, what they're doing with CERN and the dark particles and all of that. Yeah, but they they imagine, seem to be creating like a black hole, like like a miniature black hole inside of our world, which is extremely. Dangerous. <laughs> Imagine, um, what if you fall into it? Because <laughs> what they're saying is everything we're seeing is light, everything, every single thing we see is light, mm-hmm. but darkness consumes 94 or 96 percent. So, imagine their inverse where they're seeing majority darkness and the only light is you know, that would be insane. Like, how you see in darkness? That's their... That would be insane. They would need to have eyes like, that's like cats. Owl. Cats have night vision and shit. Owls. Owls I would too. Say better. Probably owls. Yeah. Because they're more in the wild. They, they're they probably more adept to that environment. Yeah. Cats be that's in houses strictly and shit. strictly they shit. Yeah. Strictly. Cats be up at night or yeah. daytime. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you're not an amphibian. Interesting, man. Shit. I like shit like that, man. Real talk. I, 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 I'm a I, proponent I, I, of I, it, though. I, I, I believe in that. 
<laughs> nah, it makes sense. Anything to a certain extent, as long as my my brain deceive, computes. Yeah, and that's what yeah Napoleon Hill. Yeah, what you, you know, got? Some shit. What you got, man? I got uh, this race soldier that plowed his knee in the back of a black man's neck. Oh yeah, and killed him. Fucking cop, bro. That was in Detroit, right? Minneapolis. M- Minneapolis. Okay. See, this why I don't fuck with the Colts no more. Cause y'all on this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the I couldn't Colts. really rock with KG. Cause y'all with this shit. But um Shout out KG. Yeah, shout out to the Colts and KG. <laughs> A Minneapolis, Minnesota race uh race soldier named Derek Chauvin, C H A U V I N. Yeah, he basically subdued the suspect, I would say. Mm-hmm. Well, the victim, I would say now. He subdued the victim, handcuffed him. He had the bro he had the brother li- laying down on his chest on the road. And then he uh, he proceeded It's to, one guy or is it two guys, right? It's two cops, but, but I see one guy. One had the knee on his head and yeah. his neck. Yeah. He proceeded to placing his knees on the neck of the black guy, right? Mm -hmm. That's already laying on the road. Mm -hmm. And you can hear him like (laughs) in the video. Yeah, that's why I didn't watch it, to be honest. Come to find out, shout out to Tariq Nasheed, man. He always posts the receipts on these people. This dude had multiple uh, instances where he shot black people. In his past already. Black people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't tell me there's no agenda that this guy have. Yeah. And what, from his body language, while he's killing this dude, he's like regular. Like, he's like... Yeah, he yeah. He been here before. I killed him. He did worse. I killed he a shot. nigga before. Yeah, it's sick, bro. This is just another he, day yeah. on the job. Yeah. So, once again, black people... Y'all have the power. Mm-hmm. Y'all just gotta fucking stop being scared and shit. Like, yeah, I need. Yeah, that situation is sick. This, I this I didn't even somebody, watch. I didn't even watch the video. I heard about it like yesterday. Somebody's dad, brother. Yeah. Well, potentially dad, because I don't know. Son. Yeah. I can't watch things like that just because I can't watch it. For it's just again. it's just like come on, bro. Son got to give. So first we see something's got to give. Mod Aubrey in terms of like. The, have you noticed like the 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 increase in gruesomeness in the killings? Mm. Or is it just the, the fact increase? that they're just more blatant now? The increase, I don't know, because I feel like the last like five or so years we've been seeing like we've been seeing but I mean, footage like, that's bad. Okay. We've been yeah, think, think about it. Think about it. I would it. say Ahmad Arbery and this guy, this one, nah. Like I mean, yeah. I mean the mod, the mod was extreme, out. but I've definitely seen the knee on the neck. I see that shit like every video. I, I, but a I lot never of videos saw I've them seen die though or pass out. I never yeah, saw that. Nah, I I've mean, seen it. Not not from the knee, but the knee shit is like they go to move, like they signature move. It seems like. Yeah, it seems like the new and improved uh, chokehold, sanctioned cho- chokehold from the LAPD in the seventies and eighties and shit mm-hmm. that Richard Pryor talked about on his stand up. Mm-hmm. Like, this is bro. Yeah, I mean, I don't. So I don't I'm with even the shits, be white people. You, I'm with the shits. You, you need to get you a firearm then. No, I don't need a firearm. A legal firearm. I don't need a firearm. So how you going to defend myself? Yeah. I don't need a firearm. All right. So how? Okay. Let's. Okay. So harder the cards. <laughs> harder the cards. You could yeah. destroy somebody without a firearm. Like when I say destroy, I mean destroy that person. But you no, I'm saying. But like running back. Going back to your your method of like, if they kill one of us, how you gonna do that? How they gonna do that if you have no guns? That's what I'm saying. You could destroy somebody without a firearm. So that's what firearms talking... make noise. I mean, it's good to have a firearm. All right, so you won't be a ninja. Saying, I'm not saying not have. You gotta a be firearm. a trained ninja. You like, can a trained... have a firearm. I would have a firearm. 
But I'm saying that's not the only way that you could. Oh, yeah, of course not. Uh, it's the only way to kill somebody. Nah, I mean, like you can hit them in certain. It's easier way. You could stab them. You could get ass. Yeah. Them. So you don't want a firearm. You, you could torch them. No, I said I would get a firearm. Mm. I would get a firearm. That's a fact. Mm. Point blank. Period. I would get a firearm. Yeah. For protection, of course. Or no, it's protection, period. Oh. <laughs> I'm not an aggressor. I don't even have a, a fucking uh I've never even been in uh what's it called? Altercation? No, detention growing up in school. Never oh even yeah. got let alone get suspended. I got suspended once. So I got suspended for throwing a paper ball at the window. <laughs> Remember that Mr. Ruffin. Mr. Ruffin. That's what you was gonna ask me? No, yeah, I was going to ask for his name. <laughs> That's crazy. He got arrested for taking kids' social security numbers. Oh, he got arrested? I don't think he got arrested. Nah, did, did I say arrested? Yeah. Nah, he got fired. He got fired for it. I'm not sure if he got arrested, but that's Why that's not... taking their social Yeah, security? he got... Yep. He didn't want to... He wrote... He got me suspended for that shit. Yeah. He, 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 he said... Oh, if the, pay, if the ball yeah, fell outside, it could have hurt somebody. That's it could have right. sued. I'm like... <laughs> it's a fucking paper ball, bro. <laughs> well, you know, it's four stories up. The still, wind is going to blow it. And it's going <laughs> to... The wind yeah. slap us harder than a paper ball. But yeah. um, What were we talking about? We were talking about the guy that got the knee. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I know and, that, bro. Uh, and then we got we to was, the firearm. And then we... To I, be honest, I, I don't even know what to say about this shit no more. Suspended. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit is just, I really don't know what to say. I already said everything, bro. These people are displaying their nature. This is their nah, nature. That's, that's a fact. You that's a fact. You can't be mad or surprised by somebody's nature. That's like saying, you go to a zoo, a fucking lion roared, and you're surprised. Yeah, you annoyed. Why you're, the fuck he roared like that? You're astounded. No, not even annoyed. <laughs> you're surprised yeah. that he could roar. Yeah. Like, I'm legit. At loss for words. Oh my god, that snake just stuck its tongue out. Oh my yeah. fucking god. Never saw that in my life before. Yeah. This but, is their fucking nature. But you know but you know what the difference is though? You don't got people you don't got somebody saying like like all lions raw, right? And you don't got people saying like lions ain't supposed to raw or lions lion you know what I'm saying? With the cops it's like you got people saying, which I believe is true too, to a, to a small extent. You don't have people saying, damn, I just had it. Like, okay, lions roar, right? That's what they do. That's how they communicate, right? You don't have people in the zoo saying, yeah, some lions don't roar. Like, they just don't do that. And you find one that roar, you're like, what the fuck? You said they don't roar, mm -hmm. right? You don't have somebody in the world saying that, like, cops, like, um, they're only going to protect and serve. Mm -hmm. Like, these niggas are fucking corrupt at this point. Like, the whole organization is corrupt at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't, they're supposed to be, you know, protecting and serving, but they're doing the fucking complete opposite. That's why it's different. That's why, that's why it's a shock to some people. Because it's just like, like, y'all slogan is literally protect and serve. You know what I'm saying? That's the slogan. Mm -hmm. And y'all killing niggas for no reason. Yeah, protect masses' assets and serve massa. They just is <laughs> vague with it. It's crazy. They they're technically protecting and serving, but remember, it's always context. Yeah. It's just. I mean, I don't. I'd be lost to words. But when I say it. when I say these people are displaying their nature, I mean like everybody, like regular Karens. Cause you know they're, they're this is a new like you know white oh women man yeah the actors. Karens they don't did you see the video oh, of, with like, the dog four white women in the supermarket they all took their panties off and put it on their faces nah I don't know what kind of strike or, or nah I didn't see that Wait, for the mask for the mask no it's not the, for, I don't know if it was for mask or what but they just took their panties off no nah, I didn't see that and they these white women oh my god I didn't see that at all with these fucking granny panties on their face oh my god. I did not see it that. Nasty. Did you see the video with with the girl? She's calling the police on the guy because he told her to put a leash on her dog. Mm -mm. Central Park. 
Central Park, like White this girl? this week. Karen. Karen. Who's the guy? He's black. <laughs> she was like, the video started with, she had her dog, first of all. The story goes, I don't know if he was like a patrol there or just like, he knew the rules though. It's a certain area in the in the, in the um Central Park where dogs in that particular area where they was need to have they daily shown. It's like law. He was like he told her, "Hey ma'am, your dog needs needs to have a leash on." And she was like, "Um, um, I put it on in a second. He needs exercise, something like that." <laughs> <laughs> like, and he was like, "Ma'am, it's another." He named some other. He said, it's another area, you know, across the thing. That you can let him run free, but in this area he needs a mask on a mask. He needs a leash on, right? And then she said some shit. He had the transcript on Twitter. And then he told her he was like, um, oh, oh, she said, Well, well, I'm gonna do what I want anyway. And he was like, Well, I'm gonna do what I want and you're not gonna like it. And he pulled out some treats. I guess he like patrols that area for like situations mm-hmm. like this. He had some treats that he was calling over the door so he could put a leash on it. I guess he had his own leash. I don't even know. I wasn't there. But I think he like he frequents that. I think he works there some shit. Cause yeah, he got to work like, there yeah. if you have that treat. Right. And um, he said like when the dog started coming, she grabbed the dog and was like, don't touch my fucking dog. And then she called the police and was like, it's a, um, it, there's an African-American man threatening me and my dog. And the whole time, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> she hasn't put the leash on the dog yet. Mm-hmm. She's grabbing the dog by his collar, but like her, her hand from the ground is higher than the dog's neck to the ground. So she's literally lifting the dog's neck, choking him. The dog's gasping. You can hear the dog gasping for air. Literally in the video. She's fucking the dog is like, he's literally. Is it a big dog? It's like a medium sized dog. Oh, okay. It's like Lady and the Tramp. Mm-hmm. Those type tramp. of dogs, yeah. Lady and Tramp. Yeah, but the Tramp dog, right? Which dog was it? Because Lady tramp. is clearly smaller. Okay. The Tramp, the Tramp, the Tramp size. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, but she, the dog, she's literally walking up to him, moving back, ignoring the dog. The dog is trying to, he's trying to get away from her, her yeah. own dog, because he's literally, demon. he's literally gasping for air. She's a demon. And at the end of the, uh, at the end of the video. The dog, I think the dog tried to like bite her some shit. Like, like fuck you. Because like he rolled over and she still had him by the neck. Mm-hmm. And I think he like growled. That's when she put the leash on. I'm like, your dog don't fuck with you. Yeah. You sh- like you, you spending so much energy and time calling the police on a man that just told you to put on a leash. Yeah. That's shit. When your dog is desperately gasping for oxygen. You're, th- you've posed more harm to the To dog. your dog than him. She, yo, and, and then, it's video, and on then video, at the right? end, he has the phone out. She said, oh, stop recording me, right? He said, and she walks towards him with a dog, gasping for air. He's like, man, don't speak. Um, don't walk near me. Don't walk near me. And then she calls the police, and she's like, there is an um, African-American man. Um, he's threatening my dog, me and my dog in Central Park. And he's like, yeah, yeah, call him. Tell him everything. Like, yes, call them over here. Like, yes, you're breaking the law type shit. And then at the end, she got real irate. Oh, my God, please. He's threatening me. Please. Yeah. And he's literally like this with the camera. Like, at least 10, 15 feet away. Like, you would think you seen yourself on because camera get recorded. You would think you won't lie. He has the footage. They don't care. <laughs> like, it's like, do demons not have a little bit of common sense? Like, <laughs> Son. She's like hoping he's a you. all she's hoping for is to cops to show up there, preferably white oh male cops show up there on some night and just and shine, shoot night and shining armor type shit and yeah. just shoot. They, yeah. they don't want to ask no questions. Yeah, that's a fact. Because you sounded like a damsel in distress on the floor. Yeah. And yo, and that's that's how you know. I thought about it. That's how you know for a fact. They are literally and consciously doing it. Weaponizing the police because he's now if they're doing that with the police i'm gonna interject real quick mm-hmm. imagine all the white women that slept with black guys and is now saying that they were raped i'm just saying that. sure sure i'm just saying that you could draw the line to a certain extent a certain, uh, no i'm saying i'm saying the ones who actually are like they conscious they know they're lying 
Oh, I'm speaking okay. about that. Sure. No, I'm, I'm sure that happens. Every single white woman that has sex. I'm sure that happens. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's a mindset. That's like a you know what I'm saying. Um, but that's how you know they're consciously weaponizing the police because they know what he they know what he's doing isn't breaking the law, but they're calling them anyway because they know when they get here it may be another scenario where a black man gets killed because he's literally not doing anything to cause you to call the police so you're calling for another reason what other reason is that attack on the black man it's it's sick. these niggas are sick yo i retweeted it about the whole dog shit i said your dog got him for air i said these women are not fit for society like if in your mind you feel you got to call the police waste their time waste your own say time these women i'll say these people in terms of yeah. anybody who have that, no, nah, of course, of but I directly because yeah. you know on Twitter it's like the whole Karen thing, the whole Karen trend. Karen, okay. All so he was calling her Karen women. and shit, and it's just like, <clears throat> it's just like, the fuck? Oh, that's my bell. <laughs> but it's just like, why? Like all that energy, bro. All that energy. Why are you killing your dog? Shit, sick. But yeah, um. What was we on before that? Oh yeah, the uh the murder of the guy. The black, yeah. What's his name? His name is Thank you for asking. Thank yeah. you for reminding me actually. Yeah, let's pay our respects. Um send my condolences to the family, man. Like that's that's heart wrenching. That's heartbreaking. Like you and then it, it was people Yeah, but bro's name is uh George Floyd. Yeah, George Floyd. Yeah, rest in power to that black yeah, man. Yeah, rest in power, man. You that's that's, that's that's. I'm just at a loss of words. I don't. You know what I'm saying that's. It's just I couldn't imagine that happening to somebody that I know. You know what I'm saying or, or to me. You know what I'm saying like it's just. Yeah, I'd be thinking like, what if I was in that predicament? Like, like I think about that shit too much. Record me dying. Like, yeah. Like it's like, bro. Like, kick his fucking ass. Like, just push yeah. him or something. Yeah. Like, let me get a couple coughs so I can regain my breath. Yeah. Like, yo, it's crazy. It's really sad. Yeah, it's it's extremely sad, man. But, yeah, I said my condolences, man. Um, What we got, though? Um, I got another one. Matter of fact, matter of fact, since we were speaking about Karens and shit, mm-hmm. let's go something similar. Yo, Doja yeah. Cat. Doja Cat, Doja Cat, Doja Cat, too. Doja Cat, come in front of the black <clears throat> congregation, please. Because I've been wait, I've been waiting to give you smoke for a minute, waiting to give you smoke. See, look, this, and we are gonna also dive into after we get into her ass pause. I'm saying pause because she's trash. <laughs> um, we gonna speak about how like Giannis, Giannis fake this fake ass cancel culture, like this fake outrage. Niggas, niggas be outraged for seven days and four minutes and three seconds, and then the next week they bumping her shit again. They, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they posting her songs on Instagram. They going to her concert. They, buy, you know what I'm saying like, so Doja Cat is a rapper slash. She's a music artist, right? And she's talented. She got mm-hmm. bars. You know what I'm saying? She got good concepts. Her videos is cool. She's talented. I don't mean she ain't a shit person, right? So niggas been she's a she's a black woman, but she's mixed, right? So she's very fair skinned. And I've been hearing shit about her for a few months now, you know what I'm saying? And you know Twitter exposed. That's why I love Twitter. Twitter will expose some shit about you. They exposed months ago that she said she don't she, she don't like dating black men. She had a, a white boyfriend at the time. I don't she think she don't like dating them or she don't date them at all. She don't date them. But if you don't date them, it's safe to say you don't like dating them. Uh, it's safe to say you don't like them, period. Yeah. Um, she had a white boyfriend at the time. I don't think about it now because she been, I don't know. I, I don't really, I've heard her making moves with some other people. So I don't know if she's in a relationship. But anyway, I don't really, really matter. Um, then she said some shit like, oh yeah, I don't eat fruit. I think she said, I don't drink water. But let's take it, let's go with the fruit. I don't, I don't eat fruit at all. So niggas is like your pH level is horrible. Like you got a bad diet type shit. I don't eat no fruits at all. Yeah. At I mean, all. Shit. all. Like, them, yeah. 
And so, and then that was months ago. So even then, I'm just like, okay. Once I heard about the black man shit, I'm like, you already a duh. I already, I already ain't fucking with you. But I'm watching you now because I know some shit gonna come out. People show themselves, right? And long and behold, she gets exposed for being on, being on uh these video chat rooms, and you know, um. That are like primarily dominated by white supremacists. So these niggas are on head calling, you know, people the N word. They saying racial slurs. They're being racist, right? She's in the chat room, chilling with them, having a ball. You know what I'm saying she's shipping for them, ship teasing them, showing her ass and shit. She's entertaining it, right? Mm. Um, I also heard that she says she likes being called nigger during sex, like not nigger, which is weird. Yo, you like. <laughs> She got a bed. I'm thinking about calling somebody a nigger during sex. Like even that's crazy. But she want to be called nigger during sex, and she likes white men. It's a couple women. Like so that. it's like bad one. Some slave master shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I heard I can't confirm or deny this, but I did hear she said in the chat room that she doesn't like being black, but at least she's thick. So it's like she means curvy by that you just, just so, y'all know. so you just shitting on black people you just there's you know a saying? lot of thick karens out here then also this also she made a song called didn't do nothing it's spelled d-i d-i-n-d-u-n-u-f-f-n f-f-i-n and didn't do nothing is a like a term that was created by white supremacists to mock black people that you know we're getting wrongfully profiled by the police no i I didn't do nothing i'm saying and um she has a song literally named that speaking about that in the lyrics like mocking them type shit making fun it's it's insane bro and um everybody's outraged yeah you know it's a hashtag uh doja cat is over party doja cat is canceled the hashtag right they're going viral but i bet you in two months she already issued an apology right I, she did. She did. She did on Instagram. Not a not a verbal one. She wrote a paragraph, right? Probably written by her publicist. Yeah. You know, um, and basically saying that you know she grew up going in and um, in video chat rooms, and that's just something she always done. And um, she wasn't into she, she wasn't agreeing with what people were saying, but you know she likes the trolling environment is. And, you know, she's sorry if she offended anybody. And, oh, about that song, she said that people used to make fun of me and call me that in school. First of all, how they calling you something that don't... That don't didn't exist. Don't equate... No, no, it could exist. It don't equate to what you are. It's about black criminals that got racially profiled by the police. Yeah, how niggas saying. in your high school calling you that? Yeah. It don't make it don't make sense. But I'm saying the the term that those two words spell that way the term and 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 its you know connotation. Mm-hmm. Well, its symbolism it didn't exist. The concept of it didn't exist when she was in high school. So how is it possible? I don't know. I don't know if it didn't exist. I don't know how long these West premises had this word. To be honest. Oh, okay. It's my first time hearing about, it, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I, I'm not in these fucking chat rooms with these okay, people. True. You know what I'm saying? They could have had that shit for a long time. I've never seen it before, but I just learned about it. Um, and then she was just like, yeah, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I'm going to make sure and I'm going to work hard to make sure you guys know that this is not who I'm about. Oh, this that's cap. Cap. Like, come on, bro. Well, that shit is cap. Yeah. You, you saving face right now because you blowing up and you don't want that trajectory to start going down. Cause like, your dreams is coming into fruition, but you also getting exposed. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, be prepared for a lot more people to be exposed. I'm I'm here for black it. Black people. I'm to, oh okay. Yeah. I'm like look, like brown skin like I'm, me. I'm here for it. Some I'm here will be for our it. favorite celebrities. I'm here for it. Cause I'd rather know about these niggas than not. Me personally, I'd rather know about these niggas than not. Cause the things people do for money, fame, and, and yeah. this material life, you'd it's, be surprised. It's sick, yeah. You'd be surprised. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts on that, man? Cause we, you I know, think on this 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 this, this young lady much covered it. She's trash. I don't want to talk about no trash. Yeah, you're a piece of trash. Ew. Ew. Mean, you got a body. Your body look nice, but yeah, she your mentality. She thick, your but her trip, face is your, your without makeup is trash. Like, come on. Even if you're a bad black chick, 
you talk crazy, you talk some real like yeah. immoral, like it's unethical, dope. like you can't even suck my dick. Non spiritual sh- type shit. You like, can't even suck my dick. You just you don't exist to me. That's a fact. You get no put, no 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 literally jar like. Boop. No, literally, you know, like people jar. Boop. You ever, yo, this ever happened to you? I'm pretty sure it have. I'm asking anyway. You ever been at a function somewhere where there was a party or you went out somewhere and you were you saw this girl and she was um she was fire to you like you know she was she was fire and y'all was conversing it was energy, but then she just said some shit off and you were just like yeah it's a dub like you like you like you was looking the back of. In person, and then I, she I just know. said something that you was like, and then you kind of just like avoided her for the night. Like, yeah, you don't even exist no more. Can't remember. That's happened to me a couple at the game nights. That's happened to me at the game nights. That's happened to me at a couple functions. Like, I'm like, okay, it's shorty, happened, cute, but but not like in person and te- no, text for remember. sure. I can't remember. Okay, I can't remember. okay, nah, it, that's definitely happened to me. Like, I'm like, okay, like she gave me a little bit of energy. She she she, she cute. And then she just says some dumb shit. It ain't even gotta be nothing about race. It could just be something about just her views on men or like her views on certain things. I'm yeah, just like her views on life. I'm just like it could be anything. Yeah, yeah. You lost me. You lost me bad. Yeah. And that has and what it's a not, big word. No, it's unrectifiable. If that's yeah. a word. Yeah. Real talk. Real talk. But yo, we gotta look. We gotta stand firm on this cancel shit. Cause you know how like. Like you know, you know what community be really canceling niggas? The Chinese community. Dumb niggas. We cancel you like dumb, Ching Chong. Yo, dumb niggas. Yo, <laughs> like I forgot what the situation was. Like, bro, a, a prime example. The shit they had with the oh. NBA recently. Oh. When the Houston Rockets GM disagreed. With how they're treating their citizens and how they're so, was it communist? They're so very like, we own y'all niggas. We telling y'all, what y'all gonna that, watch? Yeah. Y'all can't have no social media. He was like, yeah, I don't agree with that. Them niggas threatened to like not have no NBA games being displayed. They pulled all their merch off the shelves. Like they, and I fuck with that energy. Like even if they're in the wrong, but it's like, not even the Chinese. It's like yeah, they're Chinese, but it's the government more so because I'm pretty sure they have feel regular like, citizens. That's like what the fuck is wrong? But with check you? it though, they keep their energy around the pause. Remember that? Uh, remember that Chinese cop that got shot or some shit, and they just turned up and they protested and they got no. They he did some killed, shit. He killed a Kai girly. Yeah, his name is Peter Liang. And then they made and Obama uh, apologize and shit like that. Mm-mm. With that situation, it was a white guy. But um, what was the situation? What was a Chinese cop, and Chinese people just turned up? I don't know. Nah. The son. only thing I can remember is Peter Liang. Oh, what is this? Okay, what's the situation with that? He shot a Kai girl in pink houses. Okay. And they sh- bunch of Chinese people showed up at the court downtown Brooklyn, saying like free him. Like yeah, and they did. Period. And the uh, DA of uh, New York or was it Brooklyn at the time? Mm-hmm. Kenneth Montgomery. Yeah, it's a black guy. Yeah. He was like, oh, it was a mistake, wrong place, wrong time type of thing. Right. Well, that means money was passed or, right. you know, you was ordered to say right. certain things or do certain things. Right, right, but right. That's, and like, that's the only incident I can rec- like off top. You won't, okay, like, you won't you won't hear about major situations like that. Kenneth Thompson. But, Ken Thompson. Okay. Yeah. But you could just see how they move. Even sorry, in public, they stick with each other. Even on small instances. Yeah, they more, move. They move as a unit. As a unit, yeah. That's that's bro. That's how we need to move. We can't just be like, oh yeah, we're gonna cancel this bitch for two weeks, and then after a while we just forget. You know what I'm saying, oh, same thing with this. You know, with the cops killing us, we can't be outraged for two weeks, and then we not like. You know what I'm saying, it's just, it's just different, man. It's just, we gotta we gotta put our foot down on certain shit. You know how I many celebrities said wild shit about black people and they still getting roles. They still niggas that still go to the movies, see their movies. They st- you know what I'm saying? Still stream their shit. Yeah. So yeah, man. We need to. We're all guilty our, of it though. Ah, uh, to a certain we're extent. All guilty. To of a it. certain extent. It, it doesn't matter. It does. Extent or not, we're still guilty. I'm yeah, saying yeah, in terms yeah. of guilt, okay, period. Yeah, okay, okay. We're all guilt. guilty of it. I'm guilt. 
That's a, yeah, I guess. Yeah. The main thing is you need to people need principles to principles along with that guilt. Because by having principles, it keeps you from committing that much guilt. And it keeps you right. within a certain level of severity. That's where you was going yeah, with severity, of yeah. that guilt. Yeah. Because you could be guilty of a crime. I mean, okay, no. You could killing someone is technically a crime. Technically. Mm-hmm. But it depends on the parameters, it depends on the context of that said crime. Yeah. Like you could be drunk with your buddies. You're like, hey, let's run this person over. He's homeless. He doesn't have anybody to go. <laughs> That's GTA. Like, just let's run him over and on some I know what you did last summer time. Yeah. But then it's like, you raped my daughter, I'm coming for you. Yeah. It's different context. Yeah. One is way cl- one is obviously more justifiable. Yeah. Right. Right. Period. Right. Yeah. Right. That's a fact. That's, That's a fact. all it is. Yo, I think, yo, I, yo. <laughs> This is off topic, but like I think that like they had we should implement situations where like if a father or a parent walks in on his daughter being raped, he has the right to com- to, to fucking kill that person. No, not even that. As and not as, even as long as a woman is raped, period. The community well, woman has a man. right to on site. Yeah, like, like shitty cuz for example, yeah, murder. His name was plastered all over mm-hmm. for killing them. Like we find out who it is on site. Yeah. Or okay, uh, but but the reason why I say that the, the rape alive, thing because it's preferably more preferably keep him alive for the father to do what. Yeah, that's why I mentioned the rape thing because I think like with the nip situation is like we like we want that justice, but to others it's kind of like we don't they don't know the situation they don't know that's like that street stuff. It's black no, and white. I'm, I'm walking on my daughter no, being no, no. raped. No, you gotta I'm, die, nigga. I'm just saying the way they had shitty cuz face plastered up all over. Oh, like, okay. Everybody like, yeah. know who killed him. Right. I'm saying the same way you plaster a rapist face up all over. So the community, yeah. everybody is familiar with who raped such and such. Yeah. And as long as we see you, that's it. Yeah. Like there's no relationships yeah. when it comes to rape. There's no, oh, that's my cousin. That's my ex. That's my brother. That's my... Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. We don't want you in the community, period. Yeah. That's what I think is... I think we're lacking a little bit of vigilante. We're lacking morality. Lacking a little bit of vigilance. We have no more... There's The moral compass in the world right now is dwindling, to be quite honest. Yeah. Because of socialization and because of... Like, when you really look at socialization, law enforcement policies and laws like you're being entrapped to be a fucking sheep mm. you cannot if i think outside the box if i act outside the box if i speak outside the box there's consequences there's reprimanding for that all three so it's like damn i can't think act or yeah speak it makes you want to play it safe so now yeah. what you you're you're just a zetsu you're just like yeah, that's that's Abdallah, but he don't don't ask him nothing. He doesn't. He just come here. He does his job and he go home. Mm-hmm. So now, once there's relationships like that set in stone, where's the trust? Yeah, there's there is no trust because there there's no room for trust to be built on. People want to stick to themselves because and yeah. that's what they're doing: divide and conquer. We not getting the shit though because we just want to shut our mouth, put our tails between our legs. And just abide while we get ahead. But you're not looking at your children. You're not looking at your grandchildren. Because, yeah, you personally, you may be getting ahead. But by the time your grandchild roll around, that grandchild is fucked. He's in a, your grandchild is, he or she is born in a fucking concentration camp by the time they come into existence. But you're Mm. not looking that far down ahead. You're just listening to, you know, listen to the news, listen to your job. I have a good life. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people don't really speak up for themselves. Even on the smallest scale, I realize. And you hit it on the nail. People don't even speak up for themselves. Women yeah. out here getting physically, verbally abused, mainly physical, and they're not even letting their family know. Some yeah. of them even but have see, that's, their dads and brothers in their but lives. See, that's like the thing is, I've never been in that situation. So, I can't 
I mean, I don't know. I'm just speaking I don't know from if the... it's tough. You know, some people, some people, they, yeah. as soon as it happened, they tell everybody. Some women, it's tough for them to talk about that shit. No, I get that. And much. I can't be like, why you ain't say nothing? Because, nigga, that shit traumatizing to her. I get that. You know what I'm saying? But naturally, I'm speaking naturally as a human being, it is instinctive for us to react based on what is most conducive to our life and our health. Period. But what if they but what if they try to tell and they it's the fear of like getting hurt. But that's more. what I'm saying. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Naturally. Person double like, back in the shit. Okay, so naturally as a human and how we are as humans right now, how we've been groomed since, you know, throughout time. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Right now we're operating from fear and anxiety and all of that. But as a natural human being, you can't say prior to slave trade and all of that, as a natural human being, you cannot tell me you walk into a village anywhere amongst any tribe, you slap a woman up, regardless of ethnicity on this planet. And you telling me she not going to say nothing. Yeah. Back then, what? You going to tell somebody. That's why I said these, some, some of these women... They have their brothers, fathers, male figures in their life, trustworthy male figures, and they're not even def- saying anything to them. Hey, man, I won't. I can't. I can't explain that. No, I, me neither. Yeah. But I'm saying I was just agreeing with you. Yeah, like with your point because you said people are are, it's, are it's, not even yeah. speaking up for themselves. I would and like I them to. But... That was just my analogy. I'm like, yo, they definitely not. Yeah. So now you look at that. You look at. Oh, people are being abused or whatever, stressed the hell out, and they're not speaking up. They're not seeking. There's no outlet, right? Right. Because even people with stress, like you have no therapist, whether it's a family or right. whether it's a professional, right? So now you're constantly going through this, and you expect to, well, you constantly going through this, and then you see somebody else being beaten up on. You wouldn't really know how to react because right. you're not properly coping with your problems. So how could you like be like, okay, this is how you got to do that. You see what I'm saying? Right. You start thinking about mad shit because the first thing average person going to think about seeing a cop beating up on a citizen is I would like to defend the citizen, but, but if I do, I might get, get killed. I'm a, yeah, I might get That's killed. That's the first thing. I'm yeah. going to get killed if I intervene. Yeah, or I'm going to get shot. Yeah. I'm going to get arrested. Or if we get or away with it, I'm going to go to jail. Been, yeah. It's a lose-lose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I get that. Yeah. It does make sense because technically you assault a cop. Technically, but in the eyes of the universe in terms of your so-called Lord and Savior, I'm speaking to the religious people, mm-hmm. you did what's right for your fellow man. Oh, but because of society, man-made society, you're going to put the law of the universe and Moses' law and, and God's law on mm-hmm. the back burner and abide by this society law because I want to continue flourishing in this society. That's what I'm, that's what I'm get, coming from. Like, that's a way to look at it. That's a way to look at that's it. That's exactly how people going to process and assess Yeah. That's a way to look at it. I mean... I got plus plus people got family. I got my children. Yeah, somebody probably yo. I got my yeah. wife, my girl pregnant. Seven yeah. months pregnant. I, I was about to say that. I was about so, to say that. So it's multiple. Yeah, it's different facets and yeah. ways and perspective. I it's a tough situation, man. It's, it is it's a, a tough, tough situation. situation. Especially, tough situation. let's say you got like some really because really, you would really want to just news. be able to do that and just not have no repercussions. You just want to be right. Yeah. You, you you would like to do what's right and then have a right outcome. And exactly, but adjust. you could do what's right, yeah. and and, be treated and and lose your life in the process, and now your family got to deal with that. You did what's right, but now you know your right could be your family's wrong. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because who going who going to fund your family for your right moral moral yeah. decision? Your moral. We right don't got could that system in place. Wrong and your moral yeah. wrong could be your family's right. Yeah. It's it's a tough situation, man. I was man. just about to say it's like, a mental battle. Like imagine this, right? You just you played a scratch off. You was feeling lucky. Played a scratch off. You won two million dollars on the scratch off, mm-hmm. right? You on your way home. You happy? My wife retired. My mom retired. Mm-hmm. Grandparents retired. Investments. You think about all this shit, and then you see some shit like that happen. 
yeah. two blocks away from your house and you see a black man getting fucking choked out or his uh, white cop's knee is on his neck. Right. Now, talk about a sticky, talk about a tough situation. Yeah. I mean, for most, that is very, very tough. For few people, that is un- it's a no brainer. They know, I, I, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I get it. I'm not, I'm not condemning people. I'm just saying, like, I get it. Yeah. But th- at the same time, you need to still have some, like, conviction, some, some morals. Like, think about contingencies for if there was supposed to happen. Yeah. But see, that's a, that's an interesting conversation. Like the, what you just said about, that's interesting. Like that situation. No, I mean like the the definition of morals, right? Like, is it? Oh, oh, damn! I cannot word this. Like, is it? Like my morals. Is it the highest of morality to act out on situations like that? Would that be like the most morally correct thing thing to to do? Yeah, like you see somebody being clearly mistreated and you step in Oh, and you have, you know, you may lose your life, but you're thinking about the better good. You're thinking about saving this man's life. Is that is that a higher that. moral I can't decision that. than, you know, securing the family or securing your own that. life? I can't say that. Because yeah, that's where it gets tricky. Exactly, because there's, I'm pretty sure there's other alternatives. Like I've came across before that uh, if, you get stopped by the cops or they're acting aggressive towards you, you should call the cops. But no. then it's like... They're going to team up when they get there. Exactly. So no. it's, Who said then, that? But then... I, I read it somewhere. That is but not true. I'm, but then, again, it's like you never know who would show up. Like you a, calling them... You, 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 you know, calling their backup for them. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I, get, I get where you're coming from. But at the same time, looking at it, it's like... I know for a fact every cop is not wake up does not wake up in the morning with the intention of killing somebody anybody regardless sure. yeah sure regardless if they hate a specific group they they would not go out and kill a member of that group mm-hmm. right so that's what I'm saying like at the same time trying to understand whoever posted that like their side it's like and it's not on social media it's somewhere I forgot where I read it you never know like for example another cop from the same department might show up who cannot stand these niggas who know that they be slacking on paperwork they bullshit when they outside in the in the field so you never know they could come and de-escalate the whole situation All right but i'm just saying it's different avenues to de-escalating a situation but the moral having moral a moral compass living your life morally would help you assess the different situation you know right. alternatives once you're in that scenario i would say pick the best the most efficient uh result for all parties right if a white person is present i'm sorry buddy most result the most efficient efficient would you be would, would be you not being here <laughs> <laughs> i mean if there's a way no, <laughs> to to get the cop off of him and be able to leave the situation unscathed, then that will be... There is a way. Knock the cop out and leave. Everybody leaves. There's two cops. Knock each, both their ass out. Two people get a cop. One each get yeah. a cop. Just knock them with like a baseball bat or some shit behind their neck. Knock them out. Cold out. Yeah. And once you, you're not dead, you're going to regain consciousness, but you're going to suffer some pain because you know what you was doing was fucking wrong. Yeah. Now, hopefully, the fucking because nobody you know, snitches when they kill somebody. Oh, the cop car camera was fucked up. My body cam was fucked up. Yeah, but when they but when they when get hit, this, this shit had, full oh, oh, HD. We got HD. That shit we got five, 1080p. We got the nah. That shit eight K. edition. That shit eight K. <laughs> so it's like five point seven K. It's multiple shit people could do, but the main thing is once yeah. again it leads back. You assaulted a cop, or, or it's either jail or death. That's the two main things, and people don't want to do yeah. that. So, it's understandable. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely tough. Uh, you got anything else? Fact of the week, because I, I don't want to drag it. All right, but. So, this was I was going to speak about Joe. Joe? But we don't have to. 
Yeah, next week. I bet. Plus, I want to talk about that whack bitch that claimed, oh, it was two African Americans that killed my retarded son. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm such a bitch. Not retarded. He was. I know. Autistic. Autistic. But that's why she wanted to kill him. Oh, that's why? That's the mentality she would have. Mm. Sick ass person. All right. So, first fact of the week. Our the blood in our body accounts for roughly eight percent of our body weight. That's a lot of fucking blood. I was I, to be honest, I don't know how to feel about eight percent though. Like the numerical like value, like that proportion. I don't know. Like, like if you're like one, I felt like, like if you're hundred pounds, that's eight pounds. Yeah. And that's just the blood. But, but I felt like it should be more, though. Because they'd be like, oh, your body is in 70% water. That's water, though. But the blood got water but it's, in it. it's weird, though. Like, I don't be seeing water come out my body. <laughs> yeah, my pee is yellow. <laughs> my blood is red. Where the water at? All I see is blood, <laughs> fucking what the spit, fuck the water throw up, tears? pee, shit, come. Where the water at? Tears. Tears. Spit. Salt water. Oh yeah, saliva glands. <laughs> Your saliva. That's interesting, glands. though. Yeah, but I felt like I I still feel like the blood should be like like fifteen percent would sound good, fourteen mm. percent, even twenty percent. I'll be like, all right, that makes sense, because you know you gotta keep the organs nice and moist, and you know, yeah, like I have a would you rather too. I'm looking for a word. Just nice and moist and functioning properly. Yeah. We need enough blood. Hey, we need some more blood up here. Second floor. Yeah. But, blood is. Uh, another one that I have is... um, Okay. So, it's a surgical procedure. It's called... Uh, y'all gonna have to bear with me. Because this word got like 17 letters. <laughs> it's called... All right, so you know the part of the brain that's the amygdala? No. Okay. <laughs> so it's called a uh, amygdalo hippo camp ectomy. Okay. Amygdalo hippo camp ectomy. Oh shit. Amygdalo hippo camp ectomy. What it does it it removes half of the brain's amygdala and with it the patient's sense of fear. So you can basically remove fear from your. That could be dangerous, though. That could You're be dangerous. The ultimate warrior. That could be dangerous, though. You could just start doing dumb shit like walking on the edge of buildings. <laughs> no, no, walking. No, no, no. The sense you, of fear, you, not be, the sense of common sense. No, but you could become like the ultimate daredevil. You can. Like you'll just. But that's if because that's certain your things passion, deserve you're fear. In that. Certain yeah. things deserve fear. Yeah, you, like you yeah, don't jump out of a fucking, fucking line, lines yeah, then just like yeah let's Come just on, see bro. I'm I pretty think, sure I can make it out I think every white person was born with this procedure already done on them because <laughs> these come niggas to animals, do the yeah. dumbest shit that's crazy though the, wow that's crazy so, so it's a part you of your brain somebody's... dedicated to fear yeah it's part of the brain that's yeah wow. I never knew that emotions, like dedicated to that there's a part of the brain the emotions fear. yeah logic Women That's were, crazy. Women was born with that. Without part. that shit, yeah, like, for like, sure. Like, like, like God was like, mm. yeah. That's crazy though. That apple. Wow. But that's interesting. That is. Remove fear. Yeah. yeah. I'd like. To, mm. Nah, I would not want that. I would like to. I would do it. Nah. Yeah, I would do it. Nope. Certain things deserve fear. I mean, for the most part, I have no fear in a lot of shit. But. As yeah. far as heights, yeah, Mister, I'll I'll no, go no, no. go face to face with a leopard. No heights, Woo, my heart be like, what, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm afraid of heights too. The day I go skydiving, my heart gonna be like, <laughs> my heart wasn't racing that much for skydiving, to be honest. My heart gonna go on vacation. Ironically, I was I was in the <laughs> plane, we was going up, I was looking out the window and shit. I was surprised with yeah. myself, but uh, I have a would you rather? Let's hear it. Would you rather be blind nope. or deaf? I'd rather be deaf. Uh, no, I'd rather be blind. I'd rather be blind. Really? Yeah. I'd rather deaf be deaf people, without no. question. Deaf people automatically can't speak. 
So that's two birds, one stone. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 it could be white on there. I don't know. Blue Death without question. Like, I ain't got to hear no more bullshit. Nah. I ain't got to hear you. I ain't got to hear. I got to hear music. I ain't got to hear nobody. Music, I mean, look. Music I, is the number one thing. Look, I feel you, but I feel like, the, don't they have something invented where like deaf people could, like they could feel like the vibrations and it kind of sounds like music a little bit? Like, look, you, when you blind, there ain't no shit for that, bro. I mean, there's certain procedures. <laughs> but I'm talking about like, there's certain things you can have in place for deafness. Like, if you blind, bro, there's certain procedures, but for the most part, your ass is blind, bro. No, there, there was just a African doctor. He reversed somebody's blindness. But we're not going is for that. Is it blindness or deafness? One of them. He reversed it though. N- give me deafness. I'm actually not seeing another blindness. fat ass for the rest of your life. No I more. Feel it, no more seeing women. I can feel it. But how you going? How you going to get it? Who's I helping you get it. the women to get the ass? Bro, my mouth. I got. Where I are you could, going? I could. I could go to. I could go somewhere. Nah. I go to the supermarket. Nah, I feel like it'd be much it's easier to get me. women it's still deaf than, than than blind. Look, think about it. It's still me. I still look the same, talk the same, act the same, but I can't see. So it's like I still dress the same. All of that. It's just that I'm wearing these fucking big ass Stevie Wonder glasses. Bro, you now. just can't hear so shit, women, bro. Women off rip are nice, and they invented they sign like, language. Oh my God. There's no sign language for blind people. Yeah, you can see it. Talk to me though. <laughs> Nah, bro. Sign language is too much. So I can see. Sign language too much. Look, I can see and I can just write shit down on my phone and have you read it. That's way easier lifestyle. But think about it. No, talk. think about it. <laughs> you can never no. laugh again. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no listen. Listen, listen. And they got subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it and you can read oh, it. Oh yeah, but you said it's just deaf. It's just listen. Deaf it's just... now, not like you born deaf. Like now, like no, you you already I know, know how to talk. So you ain't gonna sell like you know how to say word. You just can't hear yourself. Look, I know. Well, I can still hear myself. But you're gonna be tone deaf. No, no. But I when I hear like, like because when I have speakers on my head, I can't hear myself. But I, I know I'm 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 pronouncing shit. That's how it's gonna be. But you don't know. You won't sound like that. You know how to talk for twenty-seven <laughs> years of your life. No, but I only said that because people who typically are deaf because they have it speak. from young and they never learn how to speak properly. No, but it's a two-in-one deal. It's a package deal. That's but why I'm I said not, that, that ain't my scenario. Okay, now I know. My scenario know. is it's just deaf. Just right now, all of a talk. sudden, some shit happened to you. Still, and I, you. I'll take the blindness. I gotta listen to music. <laughs> Nigga, fuck it. I gotta listen to music. Music over seeing women. Women's moan. What? Cat, <laughs> I could b- I could be blind. Cat. I could I could keep my eyes. I rather I I'd rather see her mo. I like, rather see her mouth <laughs> like she's. Mo- <laughs> you rather see her mouth yeah. than she moaning. I rather see her like she could oh. just be like oh 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 uh-huh. oh. She she be talking about this. and then see then not see her and be like oh, she could be oh. talking shit about you. She could be talking to the side nigga the whole time. Your like what? Like deaf ass is Yo. fucking watching. I don't can't on, even bro. say watching TV. It's just so well, it's, yeah, it's something about seeing a nice fat ass, bro. Yeah, but feeling it is like, better. I can feel it and touch it. Touch. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Are you sure you want to be can't that? I you can should. hear it though. You should you hear, hear what? Clap, nigga. That ain't that ain't better than seeing it. What? Because not every girl can cut their ass. But you can see every girl's no, ass. No, no, no. It's certain activities you do with Come a girl on, that nigga. makes it Come clap. On. I'm making a big argument, bro. Come on. I'm winning you're, this shit. No, you're not. I am. No, I'm not. clearly winning Listen, this shit. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm, I'm going to be fucking blind. I'm clearly winning this shit. I'm going to be blind. <laughs> Period. You're sick, bro. I got my mind made up. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just come to you and be like, yo, is she pretty enough? Cause I trust I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be an asshole. I'm saying, yeah, bro, she pretty, but she be t- <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be fucking dirt. <laughs> oh man, yo, that's bitch with it. <laughs> she gonna be dirt. You can put her face like, damn, your shit got. Why your mouth you got so mustache? low from your? You I'm got, telling you, bro. 
Don't fuck around. You should have picked blonde. I'm yeah, I just you. thought about something. Imagine a blind nigga dating a Dominican chick, right? And he feel her face and he feel her mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be like, uh uh-uh, uh, bitch. <laughs> nah, no Caitlyn shit. Kill okay, my no kill okay, bitch. Nah, shave that shit. Yeah, some of y'all be having the mustaches, man. Yeah. That'd be funny as shit. But yeah, nah, I'm, de- like, nah, I'm definitely. You a nigga. Picking, I'm definitely nigga. picking death for sure. You can still watch one, movies, and they got subtitles. <laughs> like, watch what? a movie death? Like, an action movie is still the action without movie. the sound. Watching words more than the niggas yo, you know, acting. Yo, you know that some people watch movies without the sound? Yeah. They analyze it more like that. Yeah. Who did that? Was it... um? Was it the guy who made Get Out? Jordan Peele? I don't know. No, it was somebody that said when they watch a movie, they watch it for the first time and then the second time. They watch like three times and they... Damn, he's oh, brilliant. I've heard that before. Who said that? Yeah, yeah. We probably watched but, the same interview. But yeah. I'm telling you. It makes sense. Can't do that when you blind, nigga. I don't care. Or you gonna watch his dark shit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been in your crib and your lights is like, you ever been in your crib going to the bathroom and before uh, you reach the bathroom, your lights <laughs> is off and you like, yeah, yeah. Imagine it for but us your life. But eventually, eventually you could see in the dark though. Eventually, because you know, What? Eventually, you can see in the because no, because you're not (laughs) blind. (laughs) You still have vision. You still have vision. But maybe I could see like Daredevil after. But you're seeing like the outline. There's no fucking outline (laughs) when you're blind. Maybe maybe I could do like Daredevil after. Maybe you can invent some shit. Maybe you can. Maybe you'll be better at seeing when you're blind. I just thought of something. What if the army? Because you know they got the uh the the heat seeking shit mm-hmm. like the target finder shit yep what if they use that same technology with glasses and it could you know trigger and and help blind people like see with they, heat they can't see Be, they no no it's certain things in the eye they, the whole eye is not garbage it's they, not like they, the whole this eye away don't, don't the trash. <laughs> <laughs> nah, i think you could or some oh. type of trends i think they have procedures like you yeah, said the like guy in some, africa because 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 fucking sheesh we gave itachi his eye facts the fuck and like yo i was he, he had the best eyes in the village <laughs> Yo, I was wondering about that. Like, like I was wondering about that. Like Naruto, they just give the eye with like the veins just yeah, connect yeah, yeah, automatically. Exactly. They just pull it out. And the, the the ease that they do it with, it's like, yo, take my eye. <laughs> I'm like, ah! like a, yeah, bro. I can't even, bro. If I want to do that shit right now, I couldn't even do it. I can't fathom it. I can't fathom that shit. I feel my fucking skeleton outline. I'll be like, all right, that's too much. And then when I put the eyes on my socket. It's gonna be rolling around and shit. They shit go perfectly. Boop. Yeah. Anybody did like this. And all of a sudden, it got vision. You know, Jim Carrey, well, certain people, like, they pull their thing down and touch the eyelid and, like, push it in. Like, uh, uh, uh. The actual eye. No. I you don't wanna see me do it? No. I don't, don't fucking do that. Don't do that, bro. <laughs> but yo, thank you for listening for uh, yeah. today's episode. <laughs> yo, this nigga's wildin', man. Yo, I appreciate y'all, man. Shout thank out to you. everybody that has been subscribing to the podcast. Subscribe, man. We Follow see y'all. Me. Commenting. Following, commenting. We appreciate it all. Um, a lot of y'all is coming from uh, like maybe some maybe my, uh maybe on Twitter, my mm-hmm. TikTok, TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I've been plugging it a lot, like on live and whatnot. Um, we truly appreciate that. If you have feedback, if you enjoy the episode, don't be afraid to Please, hit me up. We, yeah, hit us up. Yeah, we gonna respond. Like yeah. We, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Um, either our personal pages or the podcast. Yeah, page. the podcast page, my Twitter. Um, he's on Twitter as well. Um, it's gonna be in the description. Uh, my TikTok. Like, if you had, if you disagree and you think that we got something wrong, bring some receipts and we can have a conversation. Yeah, we just want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate y'all, appreciate and it's love. You. Love is love. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. Facts. And stay pimping these hoes. <laughs> Bang. <laughs>